family. Today is Aleph Cheshvan, and we're in Parshas Nayach. In today's portion, Nayach and his children are commanded to be fruitful and multiply, to replenish those that were lost. Now, why make them all die and then bring them back? No, obviously, this is a new generation. We need to bring back, Nayach has to bring back a better generation. And the Rebbe tells us that we are after a mabel, the Holocaust, when we lost so many people. And we need to replenish that and bring back and be fruitful and multiply. But not the same. This is the Geula generation and we need to bring our children into a Geula generation. And this means no pain, serenity, no fears. And if there's a way to bring in our children into this world with no pain, we need to take it. And that is called epidural. And yes, there are so many anxieties and fears surrounding it. The person who something went wrong or even ourselves. But when something is available to lessen our pain and bring in a child in a ge'ula dika way, take it with open arms and leave those fears to Hashem. Ultimately, it's Hashem who decides what will happen, but He is giving us a tool. He's giving us a way. Further on in today's um, parak, um, portion, it says in Pasuk Beis, and your fear and your dread shall be upon all the beasts of the earth. Rashi comments and your dread that this is only for someone who is alive. Even a little one day old baby, the animals are afraid of. But once there's dead, even if it's a giant, Animals don't fear him. And so here it shows that aliveness equals fear of the earth. Geula and aliveness. What is to be alive is to be geula, to be redeemed, to be free. And when will we get to this place? By being truly alive. But we can't be truly alive with fears and doubts and worries and pain. That all has to go. That's a bit of today's portion. Have a wonderful day.